Welcome to the future. This animatronic head on show at a computer graphics conference in Los Angeles is quite unnervingly realistic. That's the idea. Robots that are more human. This electronic arm mimics real movement almost instantly. And best of all... Say hello to Nixie, my new friend. She's a robot with social skills. And she'll follow you around the room. Come with me, Nixie. Nixie is designed to show human expressions. Hello, my name is Nixie. I can tell you that I'm sad, mad, confused, excited, or even bored just by moving my face. It's quite weird. It's really like looking into a human face. Thank you for visiting me. We want robot-human interaction to be as comfortable and natural as human-human interaction. It's, it's going to make normal daily tasks potentially uh, a lot more productive, uh, a lot more intuitive, uh, and a lot more easy on, on the person using the robot. And I hope to see you again soon. From virtual people to virtual worlds, this 3D reconstruction of ancient Rome has 7,000 buildings, including the most famous landmarks. It's a glimpse of what modern-day ruins would have looked like at the peak of Roman glory. You can navigate your way through history. This groundbreaking project should be available online next year. Some will see it even sooner. So we're standing here uh, looking across uh, down towards the Colosseum in the Roman Forum. Um, and uh, with the time machine, as we turn, I can see uh, the Basilica Julia as it was reconstructed in 320 AD. I keep turning. Um, and I now see the rostrum. Tourists in Rome later this year will be able to use the simulation to enhance their visit. And a little bit further around, uh, we have the famous Senate House. What we're trying to do is also offer something that isn't Hollywood. Uh, everything is based on scientific reconstructions done with uh, leading archaeologists from all over the world. Um, so we're trying to give them both the educational side, but in a fun and very interactive way. This is a useful tool. One day, robots like these will be more than tools. They'll be companions. They'll never entirely replace humans. At least this reporter hopes not. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News, Los Angeles.